Hello everyone, welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to go through um, server-side ad insertion with Media Tailor and we're also going to be just talking a little bit about Vast and Google IMA. Okay, So it's just going to be a brief introduction tutorial. You can get very advanced with advertising but this just um, is something to get us uh, up and running. Okay, So first off uh, we just want to talk a bit about the Google IMA Vast tags. So what you can do is if you head over to our um, documentation and take a look at our example, we've got a link here to the AM to the Google IMA sample tags. Okay, so this is how you can set up your sample advertisement, and this just gives you example ads. So you can have a simple linear ad. Okay, so this is a direct vast tag. Okay, and then you could also have um, a VMAP tag. So a VMAP tag is basically a way of grouping your vast tags if that makes sense so you can group them and then you can also set um, time intervals so you can set time intervals here for pre-roll we want another ad uh, 15 minutes in so you can imagine how you can take this from a linear, linear TV setup where you'd have ad markers in your mezzanine files um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to be using a direct setup and we're just going to be in, embedding using Media Tailor to embed the ads directly into our content okay now we'll use the vast plugin um, with the player to start off with just to show you how you can use that but then we'll explain that that only works through a plugin and through a specific player like the goal of S3 Bubble is to have everything embedded into one HLS file okay so that we can use that um, upon, across multiple platforms so let's just get started with a setup I'm just gonna head over to my storage uh, just gonna go into um, media convert grab a bucket let's just drag a file in Okay, so we've got our new file. It's going to show here. And let's just use Media Convert to convert that file into HLS. We could burn an intro and outro in, but we're not going to do that for this tutorial. And let's just do. We need to have. So you can set up different regions for your cloud and distribution for this player. We're not going to do that again. So for ads, and we're not going to be doing security. So we'll just create a HLS job. Okay, now that's sent that job off to Media Convert, and it's now transcoding that MP4 file into a HLS format that we can use in our player. Now, the reason we go to HLS is so that will work across platform, um, as far as working on Roku, uh, Roku Smart TV, and Fire TV as well. Okay, so it just creates a nice, succinct um, setup for us using HLS. So we're heading over to Media Convert. So as you can see, our job is progressing here. So we'll just give that a second to complete. I'll just pause the video while that completes. Okay, great. As you can see, so this has now uh, encoded our video into adaptive bitrate HLS with uh, multiple bit rates. Let's go and view our player. Okay, so we've got our player here, and it's simply going to play our video ad, which is great. So. We've got our, our video player working now, but what we want to do is we want to add our vast tags or VMAP tags to play within this player. So one thing we can do is we can head over to this link here, and we've got a, a sample tag here, or again go back to the link that we sent, and then you can use any of these test rows. So you can have bumper ads, ad breaks, all sorts of things. Um, so if we just did a um, simple pre-roll, maybe. Okay, so this was just playing an advert at the start of the video. Then we can paste this in here, add the advert. Okay, now the video player is using a plugin, and what it will do is it will pre roll the advert um, at the start of the video. Okay, so great, we've got our adverts working, brilliant. But this isn't going to work on um, Roku, it's not going to work on Fire TV, and it's not going to work like directly through the mobile apps, okay, that we are building because it needs to be embedded into the stream. So this is where server-side ad insertion comes into play. So what we can do is we can head over to Media Tailor. Um, let's just refresh this because, uh, yeah, so explain how that works. So um, the reason you can't do it is because the plugin is actually just it's overlaying another video player on top of that video player, if that makes sense. Um, and then it's just playing the video in that secondary player. So you can imagine this doesn't work and why it won't work with Roku because it has to be done with a plugin which is uh, kind of uh, altering the way the setup works. But with Media Tailor, we're actually embedding those ad breaks into the actual stream. Okay, so again, a lot of talk, I'm sorry. So let's go and change the example, and we'll use a kind of linear TV setup where you have ads with ad breaks and bumper ads. Uh, let's go over 
and just paste it in here create configuration so this is going off it's creating a configuration with media tailor that's going to like re-encode your HLS file add in the ad breaks so that it can go off and call them there's loads of advanced stuff going on here so when it comes back this is all correct don't worry you should get all these errors now the reason you're doing this is because it's swapped out the um, direct HLS file URL now for the media tailor URL okay so it's swapped it out but we've got the correct URL but the reason we're getting the error is because the CloudFront distribution needs to be deployed because it sets up a new CloudFront distribution for that specific player so let's take a look okay so the CloudFront distribution um, will just be in progress and when it's deployed we'll see our ads so I'm just going to head over to a previous player and which one is it? So we've got this one, server side ads, and view and edit player. Okay, now if we click play, you can see we've got a pre roll, but you can see it's actually embedded directly into the stream. What's happening here is it's not stopping at a point. We can see we've still got the same interface, and we've still got the same interface. Um, but it's not overlaying a player so this whole stream now um, and ads and everything will work on Roku TV or work on Fire TV and it will work with our iOS and Android apps so it's a great way to kind of recreate the linear TV process with OTT media streaming okay so that's how to get set up with um, media tailor server-side ad insertion any questions um, please contact us